what's going on guys right here or Zerok bringing you guys another quick video and uh, I don't really know how to go about today's topic I want to talk about Onision who is a youtuber uh, or former youtuber right about now uh, who has been around the site longer than me uh, if you type in my name in the search bar you'll see my other channel which has been around since 2007 ish and um essentially onision i believe is even before that his channel started he had a couple of channels with over a million subs i remember and uh he made a lot of content back in the day but as of right now uh he's a creep he's a sick fuck and uh i hope he gets castrated by a fucking pit bull this dude for years has been grooming young woman and just being an all-around creep to his fan base and there's no excuse for that in this community uh, i think when you take advantage of a young female or just any young person in general you're a degenerate fuck uh this really bothers me on many fronts because personally i know many people that have dealt with you know sexual harassment and abuse and that's a kind of trauma that you never recover from to be completely honest um if you ever have the chance to talk to somebody who's very open about their experience with something like that, they will tell you, uh, and I've heard it from a few different people who have had this experience, it's just something you don't get over. Like, it sticks with you forever. It's your traumatic experience. You get almost like a, you get PTSD essentially from, well, most people get some type of PTSD from these type of incidents. Uh, for you guys that don't know, Onision was communicating with a girl who was, I want to say, 16 or 17. And in his state, it is illegal. You have to be 18. That's the age of consent. This motherfucker decided to, as I understand it, go to Canada to fuck this girl. That's what his plan was, just so he could have sex with an underage girl. Uh, that's absolutely disgusting, despicable. And like I said, I hope a pit bull castrates you. Uh, it's just gross, honestly. And then I guess he was living with a girl named Kai who has now transitioned into a male. I don't give a fuck about your transgender bullshit, to be completely honest. You're either a woman or a female. Anybody who knows me knows that. Uh, that's just how I... That's just how it is, man. I'm sorry. You, you're not fucking agendered, semi-gendered, ten-gendered. All right, enough of that. Back to Unision. Um, this dude has single-handedly went from a very large person on YouTube to absolutely nothing. He is a pedophile version of Wings of Redemption. He also destroyed a shit ton of fucking wetlands that you can't just replace. For you guys that don't know, you can look into that yourself. But I want to talk more about this grooming case. So this girl has come forward. Uh, I don't know her name, and I don't think that's important to mention her name. Um, I think it's more important to discuss why this guy's a sick fuck. He asked her in front of this guy, in front of this female, or whatever the fuck she was, he was at this time, uh, Kai, that Kai and this girl kiss in front of him because he insisted on seeing it. That's just some fucking Buffalo Bill shit. It rubs the lotion on its skin, you creepy fuck. Onision, honestly, I hope you go to jail and get fucking butt fucked so many times. I hope they rip your asshole apart in there, dude. Honestly, I hope you get beat up in the asshole like a Brazzers film. That's y you're ridiculous, dude. Honestly, the fact that you can even live with yourself like you should just hang yourself. Honestly, do the world a favor and just tie a rope around your neck and just jump off a fucking building. Uh, I think you're garbage. I don't think there's any reviving pedophiles. I think we should just take this motherfucker out back and put a bullet in his head. Old Yeller style. Fuck people like this. Uh, especially that it take advantage of their fans. Like I've said. If that's what you do, then you don't deserve to have a platform. I hope you get deplatformed and... Uh, I just hope nothing goes your way in life. I hope every day is a struggle for you. If you... Do, if you can do that something like that to another person you know sexually harass them or even like people that molest people and shit like that like if that's something you're capable of you're a sick fuck and you don't deserve to live uh there's just a lot of anger 
that I have behind that type of stuff because it's just sick. It is so sick. Taking advantage of somebody at a young age, especially when they're impressionable and you can force things upon them. You're not an accomplished person. You're a sick fucking person. And I hope all of this comes out and Onision gets an insanely long trial because it's just gross. I, I heard about this a long time ago and now that Chris Hansen is involved, uh, he has spoken to the FBI. Uh, which is awesome. Shout out Chris Hansen. Uh, Onision, I'd be careful because Chris Hansen, if you don't know, was having some financial trouble. So if he can use you to get back some fucking money, he's going to do it. And you're going to be fucked in the ass. Which I'll giggle at because that's what you deserve, you piece of shit. You fucking sick fuck. You probably like it too, you creepy prick. If you guys have ever seen like a profile picture on his profile, like you could just tell he's a sick fuck. Looks like he fucks dogs. Creepy weirdo motherfucker. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just going off on this video. This is a subject I feel very strongly on. I hope that girl that went through this is okay. Um, you know, her story is very truthful, and many other people have come out in, in support of her and said Onision has done this. Uh, Repzion has found that there's old forum posts where this dude is creepy with his young fans and shit like that. Like, it's just a sick fucking situation. And hope the outcome of this is everyone heals and everyone feels somewhat better uh, when this guy is gone, deplatformed. I know they took his Patreon away recently, so he has pretty much no income from this shit. Uh, his YouTube channel still up, but if he is criminally charged, YouTube will take that down. That's just something they've always done, as long as I can remember. Uh, they've waited till like an actual charge is filed, which is fine. It just makes sense that way. Let me know down below what you guys think, though, because this is just some sick shit, honestly. Um, yeah, I, I don't even know what else to say. Leave a like, subscribe, by, subscribe, guys, and let me know down below what you think. Peace.